Hey guys, uh, welcome to the video. Um, I was gonna uh, cover a, a important topic. I think it's um, it has to do with uh, bracing, bracing our abdominals. Um, so um, you know, it might also be referred to as maybe tightening the core. Um, uh, but we refer to it as bracing, and we have to teach a lot of our patients uh, how to do this because it is so uh, it's important. It's it's valuable, um, but there's also a lot of uh, myths that we have to dispel as well. So um, when we're talking about bracing um, the abdominals, we're talking about this area here, okay? So um, everything around our, essentially our lumbar spine. Um, and uh, a myth that we often have to dispel is that um, we need to suck in or pull our belly button in to help brace that area. Um, so I hear a lot of this from maybe patients who are um, you know, they, they do a lot of like exercise classes or something. And that seems to be kind of a method that's taught is to, to pull their belly button in. So, um, it, and this kind of came about uh, from some studies that were done in the 90s about strengthening a muscle that's called transverse abdominis, where it's, a, it's, it's almost like a belt where it actually runs along and then it intersects with some of our other abdominals. But it's, it does actually do some bracing of our spine. The problem is when we pull our belly button in, we do a great job of activating that transabdominus, but we actually um, deactivate or ignore a lot of other uh, muscles that can actually help us. So a um, couple things. When we actually would rather see more expansion rather than pulling in, and uh, a, a quick description, if I had to do this with very little time, I would just say, you know, uh, stiffen up or expand out like somebody's going to punch you in the gut and you'd want to feel a little bit harder there. Okay. So really what we're doing when we do that is we're taking advantage of a muscle that runs this way. It's called our diaphragm. And the way it's supposed to function when we breathe in, it should drop. And that, that, that's part of what causes our belly to expand. So we actually take advantage of that and then we'd harden around that from here. So an easy method that we'll teach is, and we'll do this a lot for people who might be in maybe some acute low back pain, we want them to be able to spare this. So what we'll do is we'll have them place their uh, hands right above their waist and we'll have them cough. <laughs> and when we do that, we get a little bit of a push in our hands and then we'll ask them to do that again without coughing this time. And right away we get some really good expansion. So when I'm doing this, I feel a push out all the way from my thumbs, all the way to from my front of my fingers. And that is a really good brace. So from this point here, I can hold that. And you notice I'm still able to talk. Sometimes when we get somebody who's just learning how to do this, they might have to, and they might not be able to talk as much and they might only be able to get little sips of breath. But either way, again, if somebody's in a lot of uh, a pain and they need to spare this, that's okay for that. But eventually they wanna be able to brace uh, when they need to, still be able to uh, breathe normal, be able to talk normal. But when we have that brace, that gives us a little bit better advantage of keeping our lumbar spine stable, which it needs to be. Um, so when if I, for example, if I want to go from a sit to a stand, uh, I'm going to have that brace there. I can sit. I get very little movement from uh, my spine. Okay, you can kind of see me from the side. Very little movement here, and then I keep that brace as I go. Okay, so that's uh, something that, again, that we teach to a lot of our patients, really, really important. Um, initially, we might teach them to do this consciously, and they might even, <coughs> to make sure they get it, so they look a little robotic at first, but when we teach them some other ways to actually maybe breathe a little bit better, strengthen in here, it becomes a, a subconscious effect. So every time they go from a sit to a stand, or a stand to a sit, or they bend down to pick something up, or they bend down to pick up their kid or whatever it might be, they're actually getting a little bit of increased pressure in here. They may not have to brace hard, but they get enough where they are getting some good stabilization uh, through that lumbar spine. So bracing through the abdominals, there you go. Really, really important. So uh, let us know if you got any questions on it, comments, we'd love to hear, um, but make sure that you uh, definitely like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we will talk to you later. Thanks.